Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of FTT Chats. I'm Lisa Moyle, Director of Strategy at VC Innovations, and today we're really delighted to be joined by Ben Maxim, who is Assistant Vice President of Digital Strategy and Innovation at MSU Credit Union. Welcome, Ben. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Ben, can we start off um, with you telling us a little bit about MSU and your role? Absolutely. So uh, MSU Federal Credit Union was founded uh, in 1937, uh, coming out of the Great Depression by a few faculty members at Michigan State University to help the, the faculty get through the Great Depression, kind of help their financial needs at that time. Uh, we've carried that mission forward uh, as we've grown and expanded over uh, all the all these years here and helped our members through a number of different uh, situations, good and bad. And uh, you know, my role there uh, has been in the, the digital platforms. Uh, since I started back in 2007, I started as a web developer uh, and helped create a lot of the a lot of the uh, web and mobile and uh, digital channels that we have today. Uh, I've also been a uh, manager of the team and then most recently moved into my current role at the beginning of the year. We were doing a lot more organic growth uh, or organic in innovation uh, during that time. But as we grew, uh, we needed to focus a lot more, more on it formally. So I've been tasked with creating a formal innovation program this year, which has uh, four different components uh, where we're, uh, we're uh, investing uh, our time and resources and helping out our, our community uh, through innovation uh, with our partners. Um, we're creating an innovation center uh, where we're all gonna have our employees uh, from across the organization be involved in different projects and pilots to try out uh, different fintech technology and also some homegrown solutions as well and then uh, really our focus is on you know innovating to for growth but also to help uh, our members with their financial wellness and really improve improve themselves and help them get where they want to be financially great um and i know the credit union movement in the states is is really large um, but for those people who aren't familiar with credit unions can you tell us a little bit about their role you know how they serve their members and and their place in the broader financial services ecosystem absolutely so uh there's several of us i think there's i think 4500 last i remember seeing the stat um, they're all the way from you know 25 million all the way up to 100 plus billion in assets at the largest. Uh, we're in the top 50. I think we're at 46. Um, so you know we have a wide range uh, of services, and we try to work kind of collaboratively as a unit. I think that's one main difference between credit unions and some of the other other financial institutions is we try to work as a whole um, because you know even collectively we're not as big as some of the largest uh, banks in the U.S. So. We realize that there are opportunities for us to help each other and we're, we have a number of different consortiums and groups to help each other uh, kind of compete on that level. Um, but we're also really focused on our communities that we serve. Uh, we're offering uh, loans at lower rates. We're offering savings accounts at higher rates uh, to really help our members. You know, we, everyone, I think that's a major difference as well. We have members, not customers. Uh, members uh, all have an equal share in the, in the cooperative. Uh, and, you know, as a result, you know, we treat everyone the same. We want them to have the same experience. We don't have private bankers or anything like that, uh, kind of for the high end. We have, you know, we treat everyone uh, and serve them at kind of whatever they need as well. So if you're trying to get a credit card but don't quite qualify, you need help with your FICO, you know, credit scores to be improved, we have products to help you get there. And then we work with you to get to a place where you can, you can have that credit card, you can afford that car loan, you could get the car, the house, uh, you know, pay for your kids to go to college, uh, whatever whatever financial situation you're facing, we work with you as a member to, to make that happen. Great, thanks. And you mentioned a few things there, you know, in your earlier comments around FinTech and digital innovation, thinking about all the innovation that we've seen across the financial services sector, lots and lots of, of new entrants. What impact has that had on you as an institution, the broader credit union movement? Is this, you know, a competitive threat to the space that you guys are in and the and the people and communities that you serve? Or do you see this as an opportunity? And overall, I see it as an opportunity. I think uh, the kind of the mindset on this has changed over the, the past few years. So originally it was big, big threat from fintech. You know, they're going to take out all those small credit unions, banks. 
but really now it's more of a, you know, how can we partner together uh, to be successful? You know, there are a lot of kind of niche offerings or uh, markets that can be served with fintech offerings that do really well at that one thing. We have, uh, you know, a trusting, loyal uh, customer base, member base that, you know, is looking for these opportunities. And we don't need to try to create these things ourselves. We can partner mm -hmm. together uh, and have a mutually beneficial uh, relationship. And, you know, there are, you know, some challenge in, you know, some of the challenger banks and some of the bigger players where, you know, a lot of our, you know, uh, incoming new members were students coming to the university and, you know, 10, 15 years ago, they were coming in, you know, people still had this belief that you need to get your local checking account and you had to do, you know, you know, you're moving, you have to keep that. But people are now coming in with, uh, you know, the big, the big Wells Fargo's Bank of America Chase accounts. They're also coming in and having things like Chime and different things like that. Or they think, you know, Venmo, Venmo or Apple pays all they need to uh, get by. And, you know, so that's, that's been a challenge on helping them educate where we fit into that and how we can provide a little bit more uh, than they get there. Uh, but we're also realizing that we need to make those partnerships and kind of provide the technology to be able to compete in that market. Because when students come to campus, they expect us to have the same same technology as a, as a Chase or Wells Fargo. So really, we're trying to use partnerships to get us there. Yeah, that's interesting because, you know, I suppose the very heart of your members are where you bring on your new members, given that you're a university based institution or that very demographic that's targeted by lots of these innovative startups. Exactly, yeah. absolutely, yeah. And I think that's what we've realized. They, you know, they want a lot of technology in their financial relationships. And you know, there's a lot of stats out there where they'd rather trust Amazon and Apple to be their financial institution over a bank. So a lot of the, the current group went through the Great Recession, saw their parents you know, suffer, or they may have suffered themselves mm -hmm. and they're they're not as trusting as maybe they would have been, but you know we we have done a good job of uh, telling our story uh, to the community, and we have a lot of support from the university as well. The and you know we've really had a good you know when people give us a chance, uh, they tell their friends, so that's that's good. And do you find that people who join up with MSU when they when they start university stay with you for a long time as customers? Yep. So we have a lot of members who tell us, you know, I was a student back in the, the 80s and you know, here, here I am today and it's amazing what you've done in all that time. Uh, we have a big campaign as people are leaving school um, and we're starting, starting to realize we need to start that earlier in their collegiate careers that we need to, you know, make sure they know that they don't have to give up their accounts when, when they leave and move off to California or Chicago or somewhere else. Um, we've also had a number of people, um, you know, I was just talking to someone at a, a fintech company uh yesterday that said oh yeah our cfo you know he he's a member and it's been a member since he's been in school there he loves you guys and it's like oh you know you know it seems to be a small yeah. world uh, whenever i pull out my my uh my debit card with the the msufcu logo on it you know people are like oh hey you know and you're not even in the state of michigan so it's interesting to see you know yeah uh we've done i think a pretty good been successful in, in keeping people around and yeah our goal is to support you and what you need throughout each stage of your life and we've been pretty successful with that Great. And I know, Ben, you'll be joining us on the 9th of September at FTT Virtual North America to talk a little bit more about credit unions and innovation. But it'd be great just to hear a little bit from you, you know, as an institution. And, and you said you're on the larger end of the scale of, of credit unions. What are some of the challenges? You know, you're not a big multinational financial institution. What are some of the challenges you face as an institution and, in, you know, keeping pace with that rapid technological change and the fintechs that we mentioned what are some of the things you know can you can you point to that you've done internally to kind of bring that to life in your institution absolutely so uh, uh one example so uh we you know in working in those digital channels over the years you know we didn't have a ux team we didn't have designers really uh dedicated to work on that to help improve the experience for our members um, so that's one thing I started when I became manager of the development team was to hire and start a UX team that grew over time. But compare that to a Capital One who wants to improve the UX of their websites and they buy an entire UX company to acquire into their organization. Um, so then all of a sudden they have 200 people working on UX for them. So uh, we have a pretty large for uh, credit unions, uh, in-house development team, UX team. We do a lot of stuff ourselves. Um, and that's allowed us to stay nimble. A lot of a lot of credit unions uh, will spend more on the operational costs, have those partnerships. We made the decision to invest in uh, the talent to have it in-house. Uh, in, uh, in 
and really develop the people uh, over time and help encourage them to learn. Uh, we do have a university community. We you know, leverage interns and mm -hmm. uh, partnerships with their computer science program uh, to do some proof of concepts. We've done some very cool machine learning AI projects uh, to kind of see and explore some different things uh, there. We're also looking at, uh, there's a lot of fintechs out there that are you know, just getting started and they have a lot of great technology that aren't you know, uh, playing, playing ball with the big guys yet. So we're trying to help them uh, mm -hmm. get started. And we, we really like to be in early and co-create with them. Um, and create something that's great for our members. And we really focus on uh, personalized service and also uh, that personalization within digital and also uh, helping improve people's financial wellness. So really focusing on financial education and wellness uh, is really where we're trying to help provide value to our members uh, and keeping pace with the technology. You know, is something we've tried to do quite a bit on our own, but we're realizing that we can't do it all ourselves and we're we're trying to get uh, partnerships from, you know, big players like our core providers and, uh, you know, uh, some of the other big uh, people like Visa, um, we've done some co-creations with them. And then we're also, you know, working with some of the smaller tech uh, startup fintechs in, you know, the state of Michigan here to help help grow the community that way. Oh, great. So kind of catalyzing a, a fintech hub in Michigan. Yep, exactly. Exactly. I so also like that idea. Group, yeah, we're trying to help them out. Yeah. Of having also having the university as your kind of technological support in a sense as well the broader you know university programs absolutely oh. yeah yeah we you know that's a great advantage to us and they want to work with us so we're, we're definitely happy to support them as well great well thank you so much ben that was really interesting and i look forward to hearing more from you and your and your co-speakers at ftt virtual north america on the 9th of september thanks again absolutely thank you yeah looking forward to that